Hey there YouTube, this is Greg on me, 2005, and today's discussion is why is there no 22? By the way guys, this is 6-25-2014. I was recently at my local Dunham's where one of my buddies work at, and I've asked him, I said, listen, I said, what happened to the 22? He said, you know what, he goes, I've been here for a while, past couple months has been hit or miss with the 22. We've been getting the expense of 22 in. The, the Eli, they call it, you get 50 rounds for 20 bucks. I said, what about the cheap stuff like I normally get from you guys? The 229 Thunderbolt 50 round pack, you're allowed to have four packs, it's 200 rounds. You know, that's you know hour and a half, two hours at the range. He said, we haven't even gotten that cheap stuff. And I said, what is going on with it? I said, I heard many different theories. I heard the government's buying up the ammo. He said, no. He goes, I was a corrections officer, and I retired, and he said, the government only buys up 223, 5.56 NATO, 9mm, 40 cal, they buy up 308, I'm sure there's a couple other calibers that they buy up, but he said, they're not buying up 22. I said, well, what is it? I said, I also heard about, there's a lot of new shooters, he said, that's got a lot to do with it as well, and I said, well, is that it? He goes, no. I said, what do you think it is? He said, what I think it is, is the companies, they're stockpiling this 22 in a massive warehouse. I said, really? He said, yeah. He goes, they're going to stockpile this 22 and they're going to flood the market right out. I said, why would they do that when they can get top buck for it? He goes, they're not getting top buck for this stuff. The companies that are selling it, like Remington, you got Winchester, CCI, they're selling for normal prices, guys. At your big box stores, you know, they're going to be selling the ammunition most likely at the everyday price, if not just a tad bit higher. It's the places like your, a lot of your independent gun stores I've been into, like these Thunderbolts, okay? 229 is what I buy them when they have them at the big box store, the one I go to with my buddy that works there. I go to the one. I'm not going to say what town it is, but he's down the road from where I work, and he's selling them for $4 for a box. I mean, come on, you know, that's almost double what it costs. And then if I go down to one of the gun shows at the trade centers, these Thunderbolts, seriously, they want to charge you 6 to $7 for a box of this stuff. I mean, that's where the price gouging is coming from. That's where the top dollar is going from. And as long as people are buying that stuff, these guys are going to line up at Walmarts and any other big box stores, buy them at a discounted price that's already the normal price. And they're going to pass them down to you guys and sell them at a higher price. So a lot of the companies figure this one out is what my buddy told me. I don't know how accurate this guy is. If you guys have any input or feed on this one, you know, please comment below. But so a lot of the companies figured out why people were doing this. So what they're doing, because he hasn't had the stock in at the big box store. I mean, he's just getting the really expensive shit because most people are not going to buy uh, a bunch of 22 to 50 rounds for 20 bucks and then try to get 30 bucks a box for it. They're just not going to get because that stuff, a lot of that stuff is sitting there on the shelf at the big box store. Because even people like me are just like, I'm not paying twenty dollars for fifty rounds. I mean shit, five more dollars I can get my forty five and go to the range and get fifty rounds for twenty five bucks. But anyways a lot of the a lot of the companies, Remington, Winchester, CCI, Federal, uh, they got wind of what's going on, is what my buddy told me. And basically this is their comeback and I could be wrong, please comment. They are gonna flood the market is what I've been told by my buddy that works at the gun counter, handles the ammunition, gun scopes, everything about the guns. And he said, basically, they're stockpiling it and they're going to release a massive amount of 22 at once and they expect it to be bought up real fast and they're going to put another flood back out. And they're going to pretty much flood the market to the point where everybody has so much 22, all these guys that are selling on the internet like a box of these Thunderbolts for like six, seven bucks, they're not going to get it because everybody's going to be like, come on, man, I already bought that for like $2.29 at the box store. I got so many rounds of that stuff laying around. I'm not buying that from you for six, seven dollars. 
So I guess apparently that's what's going on. So anyways, guys, if you guys got any any uh, input on it, please let me know. Uh, please comment below and let me know. But this is just one of the conspiracy theories that my buddy has. He seems to be pretty accurate. Now, he worked up in the UP as a correctional officer for a while. He retired. I mean, he's just working at one of the big box stores to get ammo and discounts on gun accessories. And he's a pretty cool guy. But, you know, this is what he feels that's going on. Uh, you guys let me know what you guys think that's going on. All right. This is Greg on me, 2005. I'm signing off, guys.